Hello. Hello. Yeah, how are you? I'm good too. Thank you. So uh, today we'll start with our day one lecture. Okay. So so uh, like what is Selenium? So Selenium automates web browsers. Okay. So like it only automates web browsers. Okay. So like uh, this is our Selenium website. Okay, now it's like, let me show you, see, Selenium Automates Web Browser, so it's written on its website. Now, uh, like, I'll tell you about the brief history of Selenium. So, there are three variants of Selenium. That is... We call them Selenium RC and the other version is Selenium Grid. And the third one is Selenium IDE. Okay. So, like, now the difference between these three is I'll start with the first that is Selenium RC. Okay, uh, so in RC, like it is not used nowadays. Okay, like uh, there are different versions of it now. Okay, so let us say we'll move it here. Okay, so in RC, like it was introduced in 2011. Okay. Sorry, it was uh, before 2011 and in 2011 it was replaced by WebDriver 2.0. Okay. So, uh, let me write it. Replaced by WebDriver 2.0. Now, initially RC had some like you know drawbacks okay so like it was due to be replaced so it was replaced by webdriver 2.0 so it was not an upgrade like webdriver was not an upgrade all the commands and procedures were different and it like webdriver overcame all the drawbacks of rc okay and the last stable build was 2.53.0 okay now like it was fine and it is still being used by some organizations the other version is the, the latest version is webdriver 3.0 now it was introduced in 2016 last year okay so and like on like it has it is upgrade like there are some command differences not that much okay and the latest version is we'll check it they keep on updating it every week so the latest version now is 3.8.1 okay so now see uh like going to the change log Yeah, you can see it's loaded. So the last stable build was you can see 
2.53.0 okay final 2x release so uh, now coming back to it now there are two other variants also that is selenium IDE and selenium grid okay so uh, so like an IDE now what is IDE IDE is just a record and run tool okay now we can record the procedures we want to automate and it only it works on Mozilla only So, like, uh, uh, it's not effective right now because our websites are dynamic. They keep on changing time to time. So we can't record the procedures every time to run those. Okay, and it, it, it doesn't even provide the reports. Okay. So the third one is Selenium Grid. Now, like, it is, it is now integrated with WebDriver now. Earlier, it was a different variant now in like uh, wait a minute now in grid what actually happens is there is a host machine okay and we can uh, with uh, like we can run our tests on different machines with the help of it like it connects to the different machines okay and say these, these are the three machines so what actually is happen, actually happening is like the host machine is hosting the thing okay and the test cases are run on these uh, other machines okay like we can the browsers can be different and the test cases are run parallelly in it Okay, it is integrated with WebDriver 2.0, so like uh, 3.0, like by default, is integrated with it. Now you can see the importance of Java. So, like Java is important because it is mainly uh, like developed for Java. Selenium. See, you can the first language mentioned here is Java, and the latest version is 3.81, 8.1. Sorry. Okay, so when we go to java docs okay so here are some fun uh, like classes and uh, like we can use okay so uh, like we can refer this every time we, we need to do something like if we want to use firefox driver say see uh, firefox driver okay so like when we'll open it it will tell us all the procedures and functions what we can do with it okay and it is detailing us about the uh, constructors right now okay so we can see what we can do with it we can see the possibilities uh, like we can have with these classes okay so for this what we need we need eclipse ide okay and we i prefer eclipse luna so you can download it from here you just need to search Eclipse Luna download and it will show you the first link. Now, th this is a download button. Okay, you, you need to download, uh, download it. And you can download any of these, like ID for Java developers or Java E developers. And you can use according to you, like you can download according to your need, uh, whether it's uh, if you're using 32 bit of it, uh, version of Windows or 64 bit. If you're using Mac, then you can download this. Or if you're using Linux, then you can download this one. Okay. Now the other thing we need is Java. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, wait a minute, ma'am. Okay, no issues. So uh, the other thing we need is Java. JDK okay so we'll search JDK 8 because JDK 8 is stable so I prefer JDK 8 okay 
so you can download it from here and yeah 151 you can download this one you just need to accept it and you can download it according to your need whether you are using 86 uh, like 32 bit version of windows or 64 bit version of windows either you are using macintosh you can download it from here okay so uh, now like after installing uh, both of these you can open eclipse okay so uh, this is our workspace this is the address for our workspace i'm just copying it okay and i'll click okay so see it has created a workspace all the files will be stored here okay so uh, i think so my yeah it's open okay so i'll just close it and java so uh, this is a package explorer all the packages will be shown here all the files everything our projects uh, will be shown here this is the space where our code will be shown so i'll just start with a new project okay so uh, like there is a shortcut for uh, new you can use alt shift and n okay so when you click it you can see the options here and just going for java project and name it as day one okay so this is our day one now going back to our directory uh, like uh, workspace directory now you can see a folder named day one so there are some folders src so all our class files will be stored here okay classes will be stored here java files and class files okay so let us say i'll create a new class named as basics dot java okay so this is our cl new class basic starts java now you can see when i go to src you can see the file basics dot java here okay and in the bin folder you can see basics dot class okay now i'll start with basics okay so for example like we'll be needing main function here so uh, the shortcut i used to create main function is i'll show you i just wrote main and hit control space so it suggested me that uh, whether i uh, need a main method so i just clicked it and it created a main method for me okay so now uh, let us suppose we initialize an integer named a equals to say one and string b equals to b and let us say integer uh, okay so to show like uh, now our variables have something now we want to show something to console like we want to print something so what we can do is we'll just pass a and pass b here so what it will do is it will print the values of a and b okay so it says error in okay i forgot to type r here i'm sorry so still some project error oh okay <laughs> i'm sorry yeah see now like um, a and b is printed now like there's one other command also i'll show you so for that i'll declare a new variable i c is equal to two okay now the other command is like i'll just remove print so the command is system dot out dot print now the difference between like uh, print and print ln is when 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 you when we use print what it does is it 
prints the item being passed and it does not move the cursor to the other line and in print ln it moves the cursor to the next line okay so let's see i'll do it here actually and so the shortcut for system dot out dot print ln is syso and when we hit control space it just gives us this okay so when we run it you can see uh, always okay so uh, like it printed a the cursor did not move to other line it printed b so b is here when then we used print ln so what it did it moved the cursor to the other line now the cursor is here see then the cursor is here now like if i remove print ln on give it only print when i execute it see the cursor is not in the next line you can see here okay so now going back to selenium website so what things we need right now okay for selenium okay the first thing we need is web driver okay the se second thing we need is that is uh, like web browser drivers okay so now we can find all those things here in uh, eclipse web sorry uh, selenium website only okay so see uh, this is the download button we'll just download uh, the latest jars okay and when we scroll down you can see mozilla jaco driver and google chrome driver okay so to download these just click on the version number and you can download it uh, according to your need like uh, i'm using windows 64 so I, uh, i'll be downloading this one if you're using mac you can download this one okay you can uh, like download it according to your operating system now the other thing would be needing is google chrome driver okay so yeah, again you will download it according to your need windows 32 will work for windows 64 bit also okay so and the third one is internet explorer okay so for internet explorer this is the link for download okay yeah so i've already downloaded the uh, downloaded these and i've saved them here yeah so these are the three drivers I'm, uh, i'll be using okay now uh, like there are other browsers also like safari is not stable the web driver for safari is not stable even for web, the web driver for opera is also not stable and the problem with internet explorer is like you need to disable protected mode okay wait a minute this, uh, and and the th other thing you need to set the like uh, zoom level to 100% only otherwise the test cases won't run properly okay so uh, you can google how to disable protected mode in ie okay uh, it, uh, it's easy and it's a uh, three four step uh, process only so uh, our web drivers are downloaded so i'll just extract them i think so i've already extracted them here okay yeah so uh, like see 3.8.1 okay so what we'll do here is um, i'll just add those okay so to add those like jar files here what you need to do is right click on the project name go to properties and go to java build path now here go to libraries tab click on add external jars now you can add the files like the main file is client combined 3.8.1.jar open it and add other jars also that is these okay we'll be needing all these so when we add them let's see uh, you can see referenced libraries here okay so 
so uh, uh, like we're done adding uh, like web drivers now I'll tell you one more thing I forgot to tell earlier so I'll just comment out this code right now okay so if I try to do something anti i is equal to 1 divided by 0 so when we when I run it it will say exception in thread now uh, like there are no errors in Java or even any programming language there are exceptions those occur when we when we do some something like um, you know that is illegal of the code so uh, right now like it is saying exception in main thread main this is a main thread okay Java dot uh, now see uh, arithmetic ex uh, expression exception okay now it is divide by zero we cannot divide anything by zero we have we have tried to divide uh, like a number by zero okay so add basics dot main now basics is the class name and main is the function okay when I click it it will point me to the location where the error like ex exception has occurred okay see the, it is sending the cursor to that location okay so what we can do more is uh, okay, uh, we can debug it also like for that I'll uncomment the code again okay and let's see uh, we'll create a breakpoint here okay so when I click debug it is it's, it wants me to switch to debug perspective okay now there are two perspectives right now that is Java and debug so we'll be using these two only okay now the like it the code has paused here okay it, it has not executed this so if you want to execute this line what we'll do is we'll just press F6 okay it will the cursor will move to other line now it has executed the last line and it has moved to other line now like if what if we want to move to move directly to the other breakpoint now to do that we press f8 okay it directly it jumps to the next breakpoint it like it executes the code in between but it does not pause the code so it does not pause the execution it pause, pauses the execution when the other breakpoint occurs okay and when we click f8 and now say see it says divide by zero okay so now to go back to java perspective so what we can do is there are two procedures actually three procedures the first one is by clicking here okay yeah so when we click here we'll go go back to java perspective when we'll click debug we can go back to debug perspective now what if like if we don't see this option there's a button you see open perspective we can click and we can use Java or we can use any of the perspective we want to open right now I want a Java perspective okay so I'll click OK now the third method is if like in case I, we don't see this whole bar here okay so to do that what we need to do go to window open perspective see the options here still if you can't see the options you can click other and you can open the perspective you want to open okay yeah so uh, do you have any queries okay so okay okay so uh, like until which we like module you watch the videos Okay. Like you can ask if you want to. Yes, ma'am.
Okay. Okay. Yeah, because uh, it omits all the zeros, na. Because, uh, like, uh, it's an integer. Okay, so it will omit all the zeros before. Uh, it will use the only last one. Yeah. So uh, zero is a number. Na? Like, if you write zero zero one, it will return one only. Yeah. Then then it will return 1000. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll provide you the exercise tomorrow. Okay, we'll cover the concept of uh, like object-oriented programming. We'll like we'll discuss these, and then I'll be uh, I'll give you uh, exercise for areas also. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So tomorrow we'll be discussing concepts of OOP, creating objects, static and non-static, basic and drivers. Okay. A bit I've already covered here right now. Basics of drivers, okay. Like I've already told you how to add like uh, web driver, okay. So I'll be cover covering other part also, okay. And uh, like system class static and uh, concept of constructors and how we can use constructors, okay. So this is uh, like what we are going to discuss tomorrow, yeah. uh like um, you have already uh, almost covered part of that and there are other videos also let me show you okay so uh, like you have covered module three training video three am i right so see uh, uh, the part is already covered static and non-static variables static and non-static functions okay we'll be covering these okay we'll be covering constructors see static and non-static constructors okay and we'll be covering a bit part of web driver also selenium also okay so right now uh, uh, like 50 percent is of java java basics and we'll start with uh, like we'll uh, you know uh, we'll start with selenium uh, a bit base, a bit part of selenium also yeah so uh, this was for today any other queries do you have yeah okay so don't worry we'll be getting the link uh, soon okay yeah we'll be mailing yeah we'll be mailing you the link here yeah we'll be mailing you the link on your email id and you'll get that soon okay oh. yeah you, you want this file you, you can see it in the recording also okay Okay. Uh, operators, yes. Uh, 
uh, wait a minute. It's already in the video too. Yeah. You can watch it again. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll discuss them tomorrow if in case you don't find them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah, same time. Uh, no, I, like, I'll be available on the same time. Okay. Okay. You can ask in the lecture also and uh, uh, wait a minute. You can ask your doubts in this uh, Skype web I, uh, Skype ID also. I'll mail you, I'll send you wait a minute. So yeah, QTP Selenium one. Okay, you can ask your doubts here also, don't worry. And you can ask in the lecture also. Okay. Okay, take care. You too. Thank you.